Hello everyone and welcome back. If you're unaware, I am Ren and this is my series Low IQ Ranting where I find something that I want to yap about and yap about it. You can treat this as a podcast and have it running in the background while you get tasks done or just watch my shitty gameplay, whatever tickles your fancy. Anyways, before I get into it, I want to ask a completely unrelated question and this week's question is what's a pet you wish you could have but cannot get? My answer would be a bunny and that is because I cannot be asked to clean up wires and I have two cats and we'll soon be getting a third cat. So, you know, I don't think that would work out. So that's my answer and leave your answer in the comments down below. Anywho, I'm gonna switch it up from the last installment and choose like three different topics to rant about. It just helps with like the length of the video so I can like get paid. AI is something that for the most part, I believe is bad. I think that AI does steal and it's not something that is necessary for like humans to be facilitating. But I also think that there's some nuance to this and it's that AI can be used as a tool and a very handy one at that. Say there's someone who likes to write but has trouble organizing their thoughts. What if they used AI to reorder the sentences they wrote? The idea and presentation stays the same. All the bot did was put the words in a different order to make it come off as like more coherent. That in my opinion is like a generally okay use of AI. Now should you use AI to do everything for you? Hell no. Can you use AI as like a tool to help you with something that you've already made? Hell yes. But some people hear AI and lose their fucking mind. Like rather than being just like straight up aggressive, just ask some questions first. What if someone is just using AI like a text to speech thing for commentary over a video? You know, like those Reddit videos you watch on TikTok? More and more have started using AI over text to speech because AI can dramatize and emulate emotion to make the video more engaging. The AI isn't stealing anything from anyone, it's just a more dramatized text to speech voice. If all it's doing is being more expressive, then is that really that bad to like utilize as like a tool? What if someone had extreme social anxiety but wanted to create like a commentary video? Talking into a mic can be quite hard in that scenario. What if they just use an AI emulating their own voice so that they didn't have to talk into the mic then? What about that? This is the thing, like, there's no nuance to this anymore. It's like you mention AI and then everything's terrible. You're just a god-awful human being who steals art from artists. But it's like, there's so much more nuance to it. <laughs> the internet likes to suck the nuance out of everything and that kind of bugs me so much. But I mean, what can you say? But I, I do hate AI with like a burning passion. I hate seeing these fake generated images and then like when they're being brought up in politics and stuff like that stuff that's meant to be serious I don't want to see an AI generated image like that's bullshit I shouldn't have to do that I hate how it's been used to like violate people and their like personal comfort and like put make inappropriate images of them like in the like in their image too because you're just using AI to generate like nudity that's terrible I don't like AI <laughs> there's no necessity beyond AI besides like general usage as a tool like the examples I mentioned above not having like like AI do everything for you. I want to get this out in the air. I think for the most part AI is a bad thing. Genuinely, I don't think we need to keep advancing AI because it's kind of pointless and it steals from actual human creatives and artists. Let's for not forget what AI is doing. It is stealing. Just because there's some nuance to it does not mean it should be overused like it is being like overused currently. Anyways, AI rant over. On to the next topic. Holy shit, I've been wanting to speak about this. For some reason, the internet has made it seem cute to be toxic. In fact, I fell into this trap for the longest time. I thought my behavior was okay and excusable because haha, I'm unstable and that's funny. When in reality, it, it really isn't and it never was okay. I've said some shit that I would never think about saying to people nowadays because, you know, I fucking love the people around me. <laughs> but the fact, that, the fact that the internet had convinced me that it was okay Okay, at one point is kind of like where I'm at, you know? In fact, it's because I behaved so poorly toward one person after a fucking meltdown that I have made the conscious effort to change and am nowhere close to the person I was like two to three years ago even. And I tried to excuse my toxicity as something like quirky or cute. It's not cute. It's not quirky. It's terrible actually. I'm lucky to have friends that had like noticed I was struggling and am making an effort to correct myself and my behavior. And I can say the internet 
that did not help. It's just so normalized to be a complete asshole to others because they're mentally ill or something. It's just them being quirky. It's not. You're going to lose the people supporting you now if you don't make an effort to change and continue. You're literally self-sabotaging and probably traumatizing those you are involved with because of your behavior. I'm so tired of seeing people brag about shitty things they've done to others who care about them or being toxic to their partners or potential partners. No, you're not quirky that way because of BPD or just being born that way. You're like that because you don't want to change for the betterment of those around you. I have mental problems. I can be manic and have mood swings at the drop of a dime, but it's my job to make sure that those only affect me and not the people I love or just bystanders. Being toxic is not cute. Being toxic is something we should try to recover from and not glamorize. I want to better myself because I love the people in my life and would do everything to not be that way toward them. If you're gloating about your toxicity, then you need a wake up call. You're just a shitty person. You need to improve and you don't deserve the people putting up with you because I know I didn't deserve them. And adding on to this, being mean to complete strangers online isn't a good thing either. I don't understand how any anyone could just straight up be a cunt to others for no reason other than they wanted to. It's not cute to put people down. It's not funny to be a jerk. I don't know when being the most awful version of yourself is normalized, but we need to stop normalizing it. I cannot count how many TikTok comments I have read of people just straight up admitting to being mean to others for no reason other than they felt like it or had a bad day and wanted to spread that negativity to someone else. You're not funny for doing Doing it you're not cute this should not be as normalized as it is and I'm tired of people just being backhanded and rude for no reason it's not cool you're literally just a bad person and just because you're angry and spiteful does not mean you need to let it out on other people who aren't deserving of that treatment having extreme mental ailments that cause you to behave inappropriately should not be cast on to others it's an issue you have to resolve within yourself between a therapist or like any medical professional I wanted to talk about this because I think it's something necessary and as an autistic person I dislike how judged people are for like special interests or like how people try to make it seem like this big old black and white thing that you know you have to follow or else it's not true. Neurodivergent people don't get to choose their special interests, it's something you just find yourself getting overly attached to and so much to the point that it just becomes a part of your day to day life. It's not like an unhealthy addiction or attachment, it's just something, it's just something that's comfortable to you and lets you unwind and relax basically. I can't tell you guys how many times I've been straight up overstimulated and sobbing only to open after effects or power world just to calm down. It's familiar and I can calm down and just relax. I've seen so many shitty takes on reddit saying things cannot be special interests when in reality anything can be a special interest. A special interest can be new, it can be old, it can be something that you that you just got into and really enjoy doing or something that you've carried with you since childhood. My love for video editing and like content creation has been with me since childhood. However, some newer interests that I have attached to are new. A special interest doesn't have to be a decades long habit. It can be anything used for self-regulation or comfort or something that you just enjoy doing so much that it becomes like ingrained in your day-to-day -day life and activities. I hate that people think they can put a label on something so broad. Yes, Genshin can be a special interest. Yes, an anime can be a special interest. Stop trying to dictate what can and cannot be a special interest. It's not your place to dictate a person's interests. They can't choose what they become attached to and get interested in. It just kind of happens. Do you really think I want to interest Dump about League of Legends and its lore or constantly talk about Juzo Suzuya from Tokyo Ghoul? Any time I see the anime mentioned. No, but it's how I am and it's how my brain functions, so I will do it anyways. It's not my fault that I became attached to those and now look to them for comfort or they've become just a regular part of my life. It just happened and that's okay because anything can become a special interest. Anyways, I think that wraps up everything I wanted to rant about this week. If you liked what I had to say, you can subscribe and leave a comment. It helps me out loads. If you want to help support me, you can become a channel member or subscribe to my patreon anything is appreciated greatly anyways i'm ren i'm tired make sure to join my discord server and thank you for watching